Hey, hi guys, this is Sushan Kocher. Um, today I am going to talk about how I uh, have prevented getting fat lumps on my body. So, uh, if you know what fat lump is, fat lump is a lump of fat under your skin, right under your skin, uh, kind of. So, so, if you can see, this is a fat lump on my body. Uh, so, I have one more over here. I have one more over here. So, I have about 20, 30 or maybe 30 plus uh, such fat lumps on my body, on my back, on my leg, on my arms. So, uh, uh, I uh, went to doctors uh, a few years back uh, asking for the reason uh, for getting these fat lumps and the cure. So the allopathic doctor told me that stop going to gym. That is that would be the reason for fat lump, getting the fat lumps. And a homeopathic doctor uh, told me that there is no cure except that you can get a surgery. Uh, but if you get a surgery, you will get stitches on that place. Uh, they will remove the fat lump and you will get the stitches. And you have, if someone has 10, 20, 30 or 50 on their body, then their body will be like a piece of stitches. Uh, so that is not a... Uh, decent uh, cure so and same was with the allopathic doctor he told me that um, you stop going to the gym and uh, get these out with surgery uh, which did not make much sense to me uh, so the first thing was to stop them stop getting new of them they, they were so every now and then I'll get a new a new one so uh, the first thing that I wanted to uh, take control of was to stop uh, getting new of them. So what was happening was I was on a diet. I was trying to gain weight and I was eating a lot of fat. I was eating about 130 to 150 grams of fat per day. And I was getting about two to three, um, about one or two fat lumps every two to three days um, uh, on the diet. Uh, but I could not figure out the reason behind it um, and I have, have I had been on that diet for 3 to 4 months and I got about 20 or so maybe uh, fat lumps on my body, uh, such fat lumps and uh, after that I was uh, reading about diets, I was learning about uh, dieting uh, so about 1 or 1 5 years later I was on a diet where I was eating 130 grams of fat now this time I had some knowledge about diets. So what I observed that I again started getting fat lumps. So between the first diet and this diet, I wasn't getting uh, fat lumps. So when I stopped the first diet uh, and I, I started this diet, there was a gap of around one or one point five years. Between that time, I wasn't getting new uh, fat lumps. Um, at least not on this uh, pace. So. Um, on this new diet on, of 130 grams of fat, uh, what I observed that I again started getting them and every 2-3 to three days I will get one or two more, uh, more of them. Uh, I, I could feel it because when uh, you take bath, you uh, rub your hand on your body and you realize that oh, there is something which wasn't uh, there. So you could feel that there is a new fat lump. So I could feel it. Now what I thought was I should reduce the fat in the diet. So I came down to around 90-95 grams of fat and I stopped getting new fat lumps. So uh, I could understand that my body could not handle 130 grams of fat per day but it uh, perhaps can handle 90-95 grams of fat per day. So what I concluded with, uh, with uh, was that around 100-110 grams of fat is my limit for fat per day. So if I eat more than 100, 105 or 110 grams of fat per day, I'll start getting new fat lumps. So if I eat 115 grams of fat per day, I'll most probably get a new fat lump in one or two days or maybe three days. So this happens because you're, uh, perhaps because, it, uh, as per my understanding, because your body is not able to metabolize and store fat in the right way. So your body is not good at uh, metabolizing and storing fat. So, uh, someone's body might uh, be able to metabolize 150 grams of fat per day and someone's body might not be able to metabolize just 80 grams of fat per day. So, I got my limit. Uh, so, now, um, uh, if you have the same problem of getting, you are getting fat lumps. So, I would suggest that you try to reduce the fat in your diet and try uh, 
so let's say you're eating 100 grams, try to take it down to 40, 50 grams. Uh, you will have to count the fat in your diet, uh, and then if you start, uh, if you stop getting fat lumps on 40, 50 grams, then increase the fat to find the exact point where you start getting the fat lumps. So this um, can be different for uh, person to person. Someone might not even get fat lump at any amount of fat uh, per day or someone might get at 150 grams, someone like me can get around 100 grams, uh, some other person might get uh, fat lumps around 50 grams. So you would have to test it on your body and know. So now what I do is I try to keep uh, fat in my daily diet to about 90-95 grams so that even if I eat something uh, uh, which has extra 2, 5 or 10 grams of fat, I do not cross the limit of 100 or 105 grams per day. So, so if you have the same problem, you can try uh, varying the fat levels in your diet and you should perhaps uh, uh, get a result uh, because as I am a common man at it, and it happened in my body, uh, everyone out there is a common person, uh, it should happen to a lot of people, uh, it should help a lot of people. Now, in our normal routines, we um, with the sabji, uh, falka, roti, chapati, uh, dal, the lentils, uh, we and the milk, uh, the malai, we eat usually around 50 to 70 or 80 grams of fat per day on a general routine of a meal. Uh, so that doesn't cause me any problem. Even if I go to any gym or uh, uh, any f function or party where I get to eat a lot of oily food, uh, it usually does not cross 100 grams for me uh, for, for the day. So I am okay with the normal routines. Uh, it happened to me only on the specific diets where I was deliberately eating more fat in the diet per day. So you do not necessarily need to fear uh, ghee or oils or uh, milk. Uh, you should find your limit of daily fat intake if you have the problem of fat lumps. And you should try to keep your diet in a range where you do not cross that fat, fat limit. Uh, for me, my daily routine uh, with which I have been born and brought up with, uh, a routine of eating 50, 70 or 80 grams of fat per day does not cause a problem. Even the parties or functions where I might get to eat a lot of oily food does not cause a problem. If you know anyone, uh, your brother, sister, or friend or any known who has a, the problem of uh, getting these fat lumps, you can share this video with them and help them. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.